Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have been talking about the mainstream gaming industry and just how much it is absolutely suffering from its terrible decisions. Whether you want to talk about wokeness, whether you want to talk about overextending themselves, whether you want to talk about not giving the fans what they want, or whether you want to talk about absolute corporate greed, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, it all leads to the same exact thing. And we have another example. We got GTA 6 producer Take Two, which Take Two, I mean, a lot of people have a lot of, you know, opinions when it comes to Take Two. But ultimately, they just revealed that they have fired hundreds of game developers and have scrapped several unannounced projects. And the only sentient party on the left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Take Two is literally getting broke little by little as time goes on, and they desperately need GTA 6 to be a massive hit, the likes of which that I don't even know if it's going to be, to be honest with you. I mean, let's be real. GTA is going to be a hit, you know, if you want to classify hit as being a massive success in terms of units, but I don't know if it's going to be what GTA 5 was for the simple fact, and no, it's not because it has a female protagonist. I don't give a shit about that. It's because the game's identity is going to be up for question the game's identity is going to be questionable simply because they have openly admitted that they're going to be toning down the jokes of gta because they don't want to come off as offensive the whole purpose and the whole point of gta is to be that absolutely wild experience that you can't really get in any other game you know what i mean it's very difficult to replicate what gta can offer you and one of those has to be with the fact of how it's right in between the nose it doesn't care about political correctness it doesn't care about worrying about your feelings it doesn't care about any of that it's just trying to be an awesome game and yet you have them now saying that they're going to tone it down so they don't offend anybody so it's very worrying so let's get into this article guys from fandom pulse but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push this out into that youtube algorithm it says take two interactive software the public behind the blockbuster video game franchise like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption announced major layoffs and project cancellations this week as part of its cost-cutting plan. Approximately 5% of Take-Two's work uh, workforce, around 600 employees, will lose their jobs. Additionally, several unannounced projects that were in early stages of development have been scrapped entirely. These moves from Take-Two and its subsidiaries like Rockstar Games comes during a turbulent time for the video game industry. Even with high anticipation for the eventual release of Grand Theft Auto 6, many publishers have trimmed workforces and scaled back projects over the last two years now i i honestly i i don't really care i, I don't care uh whether or not it's woke people getting fired non-woke at, at the end of the day these companies need to really start kind of shifting course here because what's happening is that you're starting to see everybody do it and the reason why is because if one company can get away with firing people and not having to pay salaries and whatnot and and maintain the same exact work force and productivity then what do you think other companies are going to do right if they see one company become more successful because they manage to fire 20 percent of their staff while maintaining productivity then of course every other company is going to want to try to do the same especially if they're in the same industry a lot of these gaming development studios they absolutely overextended themselves during covid like that's 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 one of the conversations we can definitely have when it comes to the mainstream gaming industry but still they over overextended themselves and they also have the hubris to believe that they were unbeatable like they were going to be unstoppable because everybody was stuck in their house and was forced to do digital only things so they thought that they were unstoppable but the funny thing is they decided to take that unstoppable movement and do wokeness like why why would you do that a lot of these companies decided to do that they decided to take what seemed to be invincibility and the inability to lose and they decided to risk it all for identity politics it's it's very strange not only that they were making just overall terrible fucking games they were making games that were just very buggy they were never complete at release fans were basically getting upset over the fact that they were buying complete products and not actually being completed it was such a joke it became a joke so much that pre-orders have went down substantially uh for the last couple of years then it says no details were provided yet on which development projects take to cancel this week alongside the hundreds of job cuts take two cited a need to identify ff 
uh, efficiency, sorry, and improved profit margins behind its restructuring. But the $200 million in charges related to the layoffs and cancellations did little to boost investor confidence. Take two share price rose just 1% following the news. Grand Theft Auto 5 originally launched in 2013, but has seen consistent success for Take Two thanks to Rockstar's ongoing development of GTA Online. That multiplayer environment within GTA 5 continues to be a financial boon for Take Two. Red Dead Redemption 2 generated over $725 million within its first three days back in 2018, setting records for Take Two. Now, Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption are two powerhouse. I'm talking absolutely insane powerhouses in the video game market right now, or just in general. Like those two names will carry so much weight, will carry so much money, but you are fucking with it. I'm telling you, like if you decide to make GTA 6 more politically correct, you are absolutely fucking with your money. You are you are choosing to literally throw money away simply to adhere to I don't know who at the end of the day. Because even people who are ultra gay, even people who are ultra progressive, even they love GTA 5. Even they love Grand Theft Auto in general. Even they are beating up prostitutes in this game. Like, I'm telling you, you are fucking with your money. Nobody wants political correctness in Grand Theft Auto. And if you start to bring that nonsense with Grand Theft Auto 6, you're going to find out very quickly how pissed people can really get. It says, even with that level of profits, Take-Two is clearly concerned over looming res uh, recession worries and pulling back investments across its many studios. The video game sector saw record sales early in the pandemic, but consumer spending has slowed substantially since then. H uh, hiring across gaming also took off rapidly over the last five years, leading companies like Take-Two to have bloated payrolls in need of trimming. The $165 million in forecasted annual savings from reducing headcount could lead to better margins on Take-Two's release slate. The publisher likely hopes to go into peak operating condition with optimal efficiency ahead of the hugely anticipated launch of Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, the expectations are massive for GTA 6 to drive profits for Take-Two, given the prolonged wait since Grand Theft Auto 5 for us arrived. These layoffs and project cancellations parallel workforce reductions this year at other major gaming firms like Electronic Arts, Sony, and Tencent. Now, like I mentioned, if you see one company get away with the firing and maintaining productivity, then every other company is going to try to do the same exact thing. It should not be very shocking. If Electronic Arts, Sony, and Tencent all get away with doing it, of course Take Two is going to do it. But that's not to say that they're not wrong, right? There's obviously a lot of fat that needs to be trimmed from these development studios because of COVID. They hired too many people and people got way too fucking comfortable sitting at home, pretending like they're working, lowering productivity and not getting shit done nowhere near as quickly as they would in the office. Obviously, there's some people that can work at a high productivity rate from home, but those are few and far between. A lot of the people who are working from home, in my opinion, based on experience from what I've seen, absolutely try to take advantage of the situation and pretend as if they're working when they're usually not they're usually playing a game or watching a movie or whatever the case may be and pretending like they're actually doing any work or they'll get to it uh late and procrastinate it is hard to be in charge of your own schedule and your own production this is why you need to return to the office the entire video game industry faces rising costs and economic anxieties, even with flagship brands like Grand Theft Auto, FIFA, and Call of Duty. Since the beginning of 2023, the video game industry has experienced over 16,000 layoffs, and 2024 has no signs of abating. 16,000 people lost their job in 2023 for a combination of things, and absolutely absolutely get woke go broke is one of them i don't give a fuck what anybody says we have seen companies literally get woke and go broke 100 volition is probably the best example of this so you have a combination of things working against the gaming industry right now but one of the biggest issues that we are facing is the narcissism from these developers community managers and everybody who's in charge of our favorite games pretending as if they're the ones who are the arbiters of social fucking truth and they need to constantly remind you in their games about social messaging nobody wants to see that shit get political correctness out of video games and get it out of games especially like gta so thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out